Attic Music Review. It's wonderful to be with you tonight. Oh my goodness, so much has happened since we were only just here a few days ago. <sighs> Life goes on. And tonight we have just one of my favorite musicians of this year. I, I mean, just because he's new to the scene and new to me, um, he's not new to Grandma's Attic, though. He was here before. But now he has a new album to talk about, and he's just playing all over the place. He recently played Friday Night Folk back in September, and that was a lot of fun. He made um, a bunch of fans, and he's going to make a fan of you tonight. I can promise you that. This is um, an incredible musician, an incredible artist, and on top of all that, he's kind of a really nice young man. So please welcome into your heart and into your home, Lucas Neal. If the way God to laugh at this 
this crazy world again and stretch their arms into the wind is all horizons they go singing song they go That's the least important thing about me, I think. Hmm. This song is called Dandelion. I hope you enjoy it. Good. Put it in 
between it's you and me oh Whoa. Summer breezes blow so tall And winter nights are cold so long But in between the falling leaves Closing in with velvet curtains Some laws made for the lights Some kiss you dream your night Lift off a red high heel Lock up your doors with steel They're making noise in my street My blind drone I can't see Smashed in my car window didn't touch the stereo Yeah Oh, slow it down, baby Come back to bed And rest your arms Rest your legs boys are out for blood tonight and when she stood she stood tall she'll make a fool of you all don't ask for a cigarette she ain't got nothing left for you Oh, slow it down, baby Come back to bed Rest your arms Rest your legs And don't you Brown when you're feeling like this Only love can get you out of this Oh 
your only love can get you out of this. So my upcoming album is titled That Inward Sky. That title is from one of my favorite poems by my favorite poet, William. And this song will be on that album. It's about living with intention. Right before I die, I'll take the road for a ride And float beneath the flowers in the sky Right before I die, I'll blow helos till I'm high And laugh at all the lesions in my mind It's a long way home and before I go I better even out my rations for the road it's a long way on before I go There's some things that I would like to let you know When right before I die I'll kiss my love goodbye And pray that I should come back as a blue whale I'll make the gesture rhyme As I roll his favorite vibe Ask of all the times he's ever lied When right before I die I walk the back way on And wave at all those willow trees I know And when I cross the cove I'll make the forest cry By strumming all the sapling's favorite notes It's a long way on before I go, I better even out my rations for the road. It's a long way home, and before I go, there's some things that I would like to let you know, baby, right before I go. Before I die, I'll read my favorite book And sigh at all those silly notes I took I'll drink with a passerby And I'll ask a stranger why Has he found the love but hasn't found the time? And right before I die I'll hum my favorite tune and sway beneath the sweet September moon oh it's a long way home before I go I better even out my rations for the road it's a long way home before I go there's some things that I would like to let you know right before I go no 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 right before I go right before I go
about wild winds. I've been afloat for so long, I fear my feet forgot this ground. I got drunk enough to don my coat and hit the town. Down by the water, there's a note that says your love wants you to drown. Mm. The only home I've ever known is 13 miles out. Why, oh, the winds don't let that door slam. She's asleep next to the stone. Spare my face, I am a new man. And I will walk home. I walk home. Yes, I will. You may think you know her sin, but you don't know her. You may think you know her sin, but you don't know her. Why are winds don't let that door slam? She's asleep next to the store. Spare my face, I am a new man. Mm. I promise I'll walk home. I'll walk home. Yeah.
Bob Dylan once said um, later in his life that he thought he was writing about all of these things throughout his career. And in his older age, he realized that he was always writing about himself. Found the road, we could drive away. Nothing stopping us from doing that today. And I'm starting to see these winters on my face. Who oh, these years of snow make me fall from your grace? And we'd sing, Hey, you. No, he us, he us tonight. No, he you, no, he us, just us tonight. We could find a gun and join this silly fight. But when emotional, it's hard to say what's right. We could find some wings and fly away tonight. But think of all the dreams and wishes we'd fly by singing, Hey, you, hey, I, hey, us tonight. Hey you, no hey I, just hey us tonight. And I'm terrified to fall back into fear. It's where I spend so many of my years. And all the colors on the other side seem bright So tell me why am I still so afraid to die singing Hey you, no hey I, hey us tonight Five to life and locked away into the end of time. If I was given some twenty five to life, mm -hmm. if I had you, I'd be all right. We'd sing, Hey, you, no, hey, I. Hey, us, it's a night on. Hey, you, hey, I, hey, us, it's a night on. Tonight, First song I ever wrote, I wrote it on a sunny Sunday, November afternoon, next to a wood stove, 
for the cat on my toes. It goes like this, it's called Dirt Roads. I've been broken, I've been down before Broken glass can open up a door I've been lost and I've been found again When you're lonely you can make a friend Every dirt road leads me somewhere unknown And that's where I find my soul and find my way back Every dirt road leads me somewhere unknown And that's where I find my soul and find my way back home What's your name, love, where you want to roam? You're as free as sky, strong as stone Find your peace, I found this microphone So I could tell you love you're not alone Every dirt road Leads me somewhere unknown That's where I find my soul Find my way back home Every dirt road Leads me somewhere unknown And that's where I find my soul And find my way back home Mics up. Let's talk about some of the things going on. Um, the hygienic art park is done for the season. Sad, but true. But um, there are so many shows going on. I have to tell you that um, tomorrow evening, um, Sweet Mercy will be playing at the Tap Room in Westerly. So check that out. There's music at Philomena's. There's music at the 33. Ah, there's music at the social. Like, it looks like the social is doing music about five nights a week. So check that out. There's some new restaurants in town, too. So um, go out and dock and dine. Um, if you missed it tonight, the ECSO opened its season tonight. It was amazing. And I um, hope to see you next month. And um, tickets will be given away on that radio show you all know about. So let's talk to Lucas Neal. Hi, my friend. Hi, Dot. How are you? It's so good to see you. Oh, my gosh. You've really been practicing with that looper, and you're doing some pretty <laughs> amazing stuff with that, aren't you? Yeah, it's a fun new toy. It's, it's a fun, fun new toy, <laughs> except it's really not a toy it does incredible things and you're not just s using it in a simple way you're using it to do harmonies and mm -hmm. what made you decide to do that what what taught you to do that let's put it that way oh. where did you see it done so that you knew that you could do that well i actually was opening up a show for a friend of mine and it was such that i was playing with her stage setup Okay. And she had one. Uh-huh. And she was like, yeah, you know, feel free to mess around with that. And I was a little experimental with it. And I'm always looking for things to just make my live set more intriguing and, mm -hmm. you know, more intricate, more entertaining. Watching you sing while the guitar is playing and you're not playing guitar <laughs> was really cool to watch. 
But it wasn't just, it was so many levels. There's so many levels to what you do with your looper. That's a lot of fun. Where are you finding your inspiration for your songs these days? Oh. I've been, this fall was a really interesting fall for me. I had a lot more alone time than I had expected I would, and I read a lot. Read okay, a lot, what a are you lot. reading? I enjoy poetry quite a bit. I discovered Luis Gluck. I read a lot of Mary Oliver poetry. I read a lot of Rumi and Coleman Barks poetry. You like Rumi. My, yeah, Rumi is my favorite for sure. Yeah, pretty, pretty amazing poet. Um, so are you taking the themes that these poets are writing about and turning them into your music? Um, I can't say. I never, I mean, probably unconsciously, mm -hmm. but I've never tried to directly take from A and put to B. You know, okay. I, just, I just try to take in everything I can and then when it comes to the artistic part of my life, I really just let to see what comes and sits on my shoulder, so to mm -hmm, speak. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So probably is the yeah, short answer. Probably, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you have a brand new album coming out. Actually, you have more than one coming out, but mm -hmm. over the next many months. Mm -hmm, yeah. So what's going on with this, this new album, first yes. album, freshman album they call it, mm -hmm. on the streets. Um, tell us about it. Let's get excited about it. I can't wait to hear it. It's been, I think I've been seeking my sound for a couple of years now and I, I have this vision of like, okay, I kind of want my music to sonically be like this when I release it and I've recorded some of these songs dozens of times over the last one and a half to three years and I got several of them the way that I feel they're meant to be now. Okay. Which is a very comfortable feeling for me. That's, I think that's the first time I've really gotten to a place like that. You know, some musicians, when they're putting out a, an album or trying to record an album, never find that level of mm -hmm. contentment with their music. You know that, right? Well, yeah, and there's always, like if every musician only put something out when they're 100% satisfied with it, the world would have no music. You're right like about that. None. You're right There's about that. There's always something else. It's like raising a child. <laughs> they never turn out quite the way you want them to. Right. <laughs> yeah, but at some point you just have to let go. Right. And um, I'm ready to let go of this project. It's called That Inward Sky, based off a of Rumi poem, like yep. I said. And it was supposed to release on October 31st, but I um, unfortunately had to delay that by about a month. Okay. But it's still great, and I'm still really excited for people. So November 30th. People. Yes. I'm still really excited for people to experience it. Is there a place that people can go to find out that it's dropped and where they can get it and stuff? So on my website, lucasneilmusic.com, it will be available for stree free streaming until the end of time. Okay. And But also it will be on all of, the, all of the streaming platforms that you find your music, like YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, all that, all that jazz, it'll be there as well. Awesome. Pandora. And when you uh, drop it and send me a, a link, I will put it on all my pages, because <laughs> he's so good. So that, that's fun. So we had you a couple of months ago, well, a month and a half, at Friday Night Folk, and you were the sole performer and you got really good reviews from the audience. How did that make you feel? It was a listening room. It wasn't a room that was full of people drinking right. and da 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 da. Right. It was a listening room. How did that make you feel? And how did you did you enjoy it, or would you oh, rather I, play in the clubs? I <coughs> feel most at home doing what I do, like being me. Um, as an entertainer, when I play a bar or a restaurant or a party, I have to be an entertainer. Mm -hmm. And when people come to see me 
be me, I can really just go within myself and enjoy it and let that enjoyment seep out and, yep. that, and let that be the entertainment. And so it's just, it's so much closer to home, any show like that. It's really, really special. Well, I know that you gained some pretty, <clears> um, <throat> pretty adamant, if that's the word I want, um, fans at Friday Night Folk. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they uh, hit me up and say, oh, I went to see Lucas last <laughs> night and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I'm so pleased for you because when I first found you, I mean, I didn't find you. You were already doing your you thing. You can take credit. I, I will take credit <laughs> for finding you, take, you, you and chasing you down <laughs> and saying, listen, you're really good. Um, I forgot what I was just going to say. Um, I did forget what I was going to say. You're, all you're age. saying these these folks that are out of mental health. Oh, they, they hit me up all the time. I went to see Lucas Neal, and <laughs> where's Lucas playing? And I'm like, you have to go to his website and check him out because it's all that. And um, I think that people, the more they see you be you, the more they see you perform in a fashion that's all about you putting out your soul, you putting out it may sound you vomiting your reality. <laughs> I know that sounds sick, but verbal vomit is a really <clears throat> important thing. You know, to be able to get out without too much hesitation. And that's what you do. You put it out there. Yeah. And I don't see hesitation. I don't see hesitation. That's a really interesting way of putting it. I see what you mean though. Yeah, I I mean that's a wonderful compliment. That's the goal, you know, that's the shtick of what I'm doing is, I, I mean, everyone <clears throat> whom I am inspired by, when you see them perform, it's just raw. Their heart is open. Right. And you can tell and you can feel and everyone's a part of it. Yep. And I, tr I, I, I aim for that. I aim for it without trying to chase it. Right. Try to let it. That's arrive. awesome. <laughs> so one of the things that I found out about you at Friday Night Folk was that your family has a tendency, or at least your dad, has a tendency to be pretty music musical. He was uh, in a couple of bands back mm -hmm. in the day, and you call him up on stage to play with you. Do you feel like he's your primary influence? Not musically, no. The most important thing about my father musically, artistically, and just overall is that he, he taught me how to teach myself things. Oh, nice. You know? Mm -hmm. He set me up to be a lifelong learner, and that is the most important skill. And that's how, like, he, you know, he showed me music, but he didn't make me listen to it. And he, showed, he took me, to be fair, though, in my youth, he did take me to a lot of concerts. What are but, some of the concerts you remember as being so Oh my the gosh. Best? Um, Rush. Wow. Rush Heart oh, was heart. unbelievable. Yeah, what a great um, show that Sticks is. Sticks and Ario Speedwagon were both unbelievable. You know, Sticks is one of my top 10. Yeah. Top 10. Absolutely. Yeah, the the guitar playing in Sticks, I remember distinctively being like, Wow. Like, you can do that with an instrument. It's unbelievable. Tommy Shaw, I think his name was. Yep. Unbelievable. When, when their album, Grand Illusion, came out. I don't know if you know the album, but if you don't, you need to take it home <laughs> and sit and listen to it with headphones on so that nothing else can interrupt that whole experience. But Grand Illusion is my favorite album of theirs, and... Oh, wow. Like, <laughs> oh, wow. When I went to that concert... Mm -hmm. Um, I can't remember if it was UNH or Boston Garden, but because back in the day, I don't remember a lot of those things. But I was at one of those venues, <laughs> and I didn't have great seats, but we were like kind of up. We were in the front on like the second level, and I was so into it. And Tommy Shaw was pretty hot, <laughs> just so you know. Just so you know, he w yeah, he was pretty hot. 
But the whole band, it wasn't even about their hotness as rock stars. They were musicians. Yeah, they could play. And they could play, and they put their, their, their soul into it, and their music was poetry, mm -hmm. to me, mm -hmm. to me. Being that I'm not a Bob Dylan fan, it's, you know, <laughs> we'll go through that again. Mm -hmm. um, so who else inspired you to do what you do today? Because what you're doing today is not normal. It's not like anybody else that I know. Um, the easiest answer, I think, is just the singer-songwriters. I've always, like from my dad, he loved the, the really technical players, the bands like Rush and, and Styx, and the guys yep. that could really, really play. But my mom was, you know, John Denver, James Taylor, Nora Jones. Nora Jones, love Nora great, Jones. Great, great player. Um, yeah, and that was just a singer-songwriter. And that, as I sought what I was musically, I mean, to be completely blunt, I would love to be in a band. Okay. I would love to be in a band. But this is what I've stumbled into, and this is where I feel comfortable and how I can express myself and, and live and this dream. And I have dream. interruptions. Not have interruptions. When right. you're in a band, the rest of the band is going to interrupt you. I'm just telling you. That's how it's <laughs> going to go. Because you're, you're a solitary soul. And when you have a band with you, they either have to back you up mm -hmm. or they have to become part of you. Right. And I don't think that at this point in your journey, you're ready to let them become part of you. You're, you're too good at what you're doing by yourself right now. Mm. Maybe, maybe in a, a year or two, you'll you'll be maybe. able to um, convince a band to back you up. Mm -hmm. That that will probably be a good thing. But they'll have to be devoted to supporting you. I I just don't see I don't see it any other way. But but I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong. I I'm not always right. Talk about some of the songs on your new album. Um, you did a, a couple of them today. Mm -hmm. um, talk about the rest of them. These songs are interesting because I've, I've grown accustomed to, once I release music, I've lived with that music for a while. You know? Yep. Like at, at the point of releasing anything, I've lived with that music for maybe two years, if not right. more. And these songs were written from the age of 20 to 23, when I was living on Block Island by myself in a shed, cutting grass for gasoline and to save up money for guitars, yep. you know, and, and they're very, very whimsical, very young love. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. No. That's not a bad thing at all. All right, so as always, I run out of time with my interviews because I'd rather sit here and talk to you than almost anything else, second only to hearing you play. So could you take us out with the song? Of course. And promise me that when you're ready to drop your second album, you'll come back and make sure you tag me when you drop this first one so that I can put it out on Absolutely. all of the... Uh, all the places that they that they put it out. Absolutely. Thank I'm you, really Dick. excited to bring CDs and vinyls of this album too. I can't. I'll bring them I your way. Wait. Add them to your vinyl collection. Absolutely, <laughs> my vinyl collection. Hmm. Victrola told me that I needed to refresh my vinyl collection. They don't know me very well. I'm always looking to put new vinyl. There's there's a band called Nova One, and. Uh, they have some vinyl out, a peach one and a pink one, and I want them both. The band's really cool. Check them out. Um, but right now, let's listen, let's listen to Lucas take us out with a song. Thank you all so much for hmm, coming to Grandma's Attic on Saturday night. We love you, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.
Thank you. 